Part 3. Angles formed within parallel lines. You will find this on page 167 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Angles form within parallel lines. Okay. This is a parallel line and this is a transversal. A line running across parallel lines is called a transversal. Okay. You can remember the position by using the letter N. This is alternate angles in different reflections or rotations. For example, it can be this around, this, 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 or this. So if you can form that N or a Z, can you see the Z? Then th and if the lines are parallel, then this alternate angles will be equal. Okay, so the same here, there's an N, this alternate angles will be equal. The same here, this looks like also like a Z, this alternate angles will be equal. Parallel lines are indicated by arrows on the line. That arrows indicate that the lines are parallel. Okay, let's look at corresponding angles. Now, you can remember corresponding angles with the letter F. Now, that's that inside and that inside. So, it's underneath the line, underneath the line. You can remember the position by using the letter F in different reflections or rotations. For example, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. Okay, so do you see the F? Then this will be corresponding. There is the F again, this will be corresponding. If the F is like this, and I think I'm going to, to use a highlighter to help you. So, okay, let's just get the highlighter. So if the F is like this, can you see? There is the corresponding angles. And if the F is like this, there you see the corresponding angles. Can I show you just this one again? This is the, and there is the F again, and this is the corresponding angles. And then the next one, co-interior angles. Okay, now let's look. Supplementary in parallel lines add up to 180. So it's like a U, Okay, or a C, and that angles will add up to 180. You can remember the position by using the letter U in different reflections or rotations, for example. So let's look at the U, do you see? So that will add up to 180. If the lines are parallel, that will add up to 180. And let's see the U here, that will add up to 180. And if I look at the U here, then that will add up to 180. Now you can remember it by remembering the letter fun. So let's make, make um, this was my alternate. And this was my blue, was my co-interior. And the green was my corresponding. So this is the angles that you will find in parallel lines. Remember, corresponding and alternate will be equal, but co-interior will add up to 180 degrees. Okay, let's look at an example. Example 3. Refer to the figure, write down the following pairs of angles, both pairs of alternate angles. Now, if you alternate, that's the Z, so it's B and H, and there's a Z also, so it's C and E. Okay. All the pairs of corresponding, okay, now corresponding is the F. Now let's start with it like this, okay, so it's A and E, and if we look at it like this, then it's B and F, okay, and if we look at it like this, it's D and H, and if we look at it, then it's C and G. And then the last one, co-interior, this will be B and E, it adds up to 180, and C and H, and it adds up to 180. Okay, um, let's just read. The angles are not equal or supplementary because the lines are not par parallel. However, they still have the same name. So even if the lines are not parallel, we call it still alternate co corresponding and co-interior. But if the lines are parallel, we can go further and say that this will be equal and this will be supplementary. Okay. 
I want you to stop the video and I want you to do try now free. Do for me just number B and number D. Okay, let's start. Uh, this is try now. Number three. And we are going to focus on number B. So find the, find the value of the angles. Now if you look at B, now can you remember B? B was the C. Now I just want to see, I think that one was blue. So can you remember the C? The lines are parallel. So what can we say? They are supplementary. So what will it be? If I look at this one, I will say, um, I'm go just going to make an equation. So B plus 81 will be 180 because it is um, supplementary angles. Okay. Or we just, uh, it's interior angles of parallel lines. Okay, so basically number B is going to be 180 minus 81, and that's going to be 99 degrees. Okay, if I look at number D now, remember what we did in grade 8. If we want to find angles, start at the angles given, and just spread all the information out. Remember to use your normal geometry also. Like this is a straight line. This is a straight line. Uh, but if I look at this one, so let's see if I can find this one. So let's just see. Do you see my Z? It's parallel. So basically, if this is 95, what will this one also be? 95. Again, do you see my Z? So if this is 50, what will this one also be? This one will also be 50 degrees. Okay, so basically, if I must do this one, number D, it's going to be, um, I'm just going to say number D is equal to 95, and the reason is alternate angles, and it's parallel lines. And then the same with number E, what is number E? 95 alternate angles parallel lines. And that will give you exactly the same answer. Okay, let's look at example number four. Find the value of the variables. There must just be a space. Okay, now note two pair of parallel lines. Can you see that is parallel as well as this is parallel? Now, if I must find this one, uh, start at the angle given, always. So if you look at this one, you will first, and can you remember still your Z? So if this is 74, what will this also be? 74. Okay. And now, I will just now, if this is it, first, even work out angles that they don't ask. Because this is parallel, there's my letter C. That will be co-interior, and that will add up to 180. So 180 minus 74 will be 106. So this will be 106. And then you can go back to your Z. Do you see there? Alternate angles. So B will also be 106. And then the last one, if I must work out C, then C can be a straight line. Can you see that? Or, or if you, you can, so basically you can say 180 minus 106, or you can use your Z again. Do you see like this? Because these lines are also parallel. So if this is 74, then number C will also be equal to 74. And that's how you can work it out. Okay. Let's look at an example. Let's look. Just at number A. We're just going to do number A. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number A. Um, I think I'm going to give you one more than A. So basically, let's look at number A as well as number C. As soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. In the beginning, if you still struggle, this is great. 8 work. 
but you can use color pens to help you to identify the angles. Okay, let's start. We are at try now number four. Okay, let's start at number A. Now, if I start at number A, I must see that this is parallel and this is parallel. Now, what did I say? Always start at the angle given and start just spreading the information out and write down angles even if they don't ask you to work it out. Okay, so basically, if I look at number A, I will start by saying, okay, we, we're first going to work out this angle here. Now, we can give it a name and we can call it, let me just get another color, we can call it X. Okay, so I will go and I will say that X is 63 degrees. Now, why? I'm going to show you. Can you see your F? Why? Because it's corresponding angles in Parallel lines. Okay. Then I'm going to look at number A. Now, if I look at number A, do you see my Z? Can I just show you with a color? Okay, we're just rather going to take this pen. Can you see my Z? Okay. So, basically, I'm just going to say, to find A will be equal to x, and that will be equal to 63. And why will that be? Because alternate angles in parallel lines. Okay. And then I'm going to look at number C. That was number A. Now, if I look at number C, again, um, do you see parallel and parallel? So let's start with the first one. Okay, I'm only going to use another color for that one. So can you see this one? This one. This is my C. So it's supplementary. It add up. So that's why I'm going to say D is equal to 180 minus 75. And that's interior angles in parallel lines and that will give me an answer of 105 degrees okay so if i'm going to and it's always good to write it in then you know that you have that okay so that's 105 then if i want to find e now remember e you can do exactly the same can i just show you because that's parallel again is going to, no, it's not necessary. Can you see? There is again a C. So basically, I can just say, to find E, it's 180 minus D. And what is D? We have D. So it's 180 minus 105, and that is equal to 75 degrees. Okay. And again, it was the interior angles in parallel lines okay and then the last one number f now again look here you can again go with the c do you see that so to a to find f you can again say 180 minus e just want to move it a little bit up so that's going to give me um, okay, to find F, let's just make that, just want to make it equal. So basically, it's 180 minus 75, and that will give me an answer of 105 degrees. And again, it was the interior angles in parallel lines. And this was not the only way to find the answers. If you have a road and you come to that answers, then you are also correct.